Everything is starting to get way out of control. Inflation is going crazy, grocery prices are going up, rent's going up, insurance is going up, bills are piling up. Everything is getting out of control and out of hand super fast, and it's gonna be by the end of the year to where prices are gonna be really ridiculous. So what can we do about this? What is the easiest, simple, one single thing that you can do to supplement your nine to five income? If you're working a single nine to five job and you're working anywhere between 40 to 48 hours a week, then there is a simple one trick thing that you can do to supplement your income. It's super easy. I'm not conning you into anything. I'm not selling you anything. The only thing I'm selling you is the subscribe button. It would be really appreciated if you clicked it. So what's the one simple trick that you can do in order to actually supplement your nine to five income? Get a six to 10. That's right, you need to get a second job at either a brick and mortar location or an online remote computer job. That's absolutely right. If you've already hit the bell curve of budgeting and you can't budget anymore, it's time to stop being lazy and get out there and find a second job and work your ass off and make sure that you have enough money to be able to live comfortably yet again. Or find another job that is only still one job, but find something that pays two to three dollars more an hour. That's it. That's the simplest, easiest thing that you can do to supplement your income. Either find another job that's paying two to three dollars more in your career field, or find a second part-time job that isn't a gig. I'm gonna get into about gigs later in the video, but gigs and delivery jobs are horrible and abhorrent for doing. Don't do delivery or gig jobs. I'm gonna go into depth later in the video about that. What do you mean I'm lazy? I'm not actually lazy. I just feel like relaxing when I come home. I feel like I worked hard today. I feel like I'm mentally exhausted. I feel like I can't work a second job. Okay, well, feelings don't pay the bills. Feelings don't pay the bills. They don't pay your rent. They don't pay your mortgage. They don't pay your taxes. Feelings don't fix your problems. It's because you feel this way that you're stuck just working one job instead of actually getting out there and finding a second part-time job in order to supplement your income. You might not like the message, but that is the message that you need to hear. You're being lazy and you're just finding excuses to not do anything when you know in the back of your mind something needs to be done. And I'm telling you, this isn't entrepreneurship. This isn't risking it all to lose it all or win it all. This isn't like a magic one trick pony where I'm gonna sell you crypto or something. It's nothing like that. I'm just telling you, go and find a second job that isn't delivery or gigs. That's it. If you're working at Menards, go work at McDonald's. If you're working at Burger King, go work at Walmart. Find a job that's full time in your main career field that pays all your bills and expenses and everything and then your second job should be at least 20 to 24 hours. And you also have enough money set aside to where you can build up a savings account, pay for any hobbies, any tuitions, anything else that you need. Because this is the easiest way. It just is. It's, you already had the opportunity to find one job that was really easy. Sure, you had to write a resume and, call and send in applications and call them and everything. Just do it again. Spend literally an afternoon just setting your resume back up, updating it, getting on Indeed or whatever web job search website you're gonna do. And then I promise you that within the week, you're gonna find a part-time opportunity that's gonna pop up. It's gonna be great for you. For me, it was working a factory job, 6 a.m. to 2.30 p.m. And then on Fridays, Saturday, and Sundays, I was working as a front desk hotel receptionist, 3 p.m. to 11 p.m. So Fridays, on Fridays, I worked from 6 a.m. to 11 p.m. straight, no stop in between. A genuine 17-hour workday on Fridays only. But Monday through Thursday, I only worked one job. And then Saturday and Sunday, I only worked one job. And it still worked out for me because I knew that Fridays were gonna be the day that I'm gonna be the busiest and I'm not gonna have time for anything, but that's okay 
because six out of my seven other days are still free in the afternoons, or on the weekends, they're free in the mornings. And that was fine with me. That schedule worked out perfectly with me, and I made a lot of extra money to be able to afford to buy my cars and my house and get my wife here to America and do everything that I needed for two years. So why am I telling you then that working gig jobs or delivery jobs, working shipped, Instacart, Walmart Plus delivery jobs, Papa John's delivery, Domino's delivery, anything that requires a vehicle to work in and you're using your own personal vehicle. The only reason, the only excuse that you should ever have for doing any of these car delivery gig jobs is if you have a beater car that you bought for less than $1,000 that you don't plan on actually keeping up on maintenance on except for oil changes and gasoline and everything. And you also know isn't going to last you more than six months. Gig jobs are genuinely a waste of time and also a waste of money in most circumstances if you don't do them right and you don't get tips, which most people don't get tips for these jobs. The only time that a gig job is worth doing and genuinely does profit you good money an hour is if you do them very carefully and only for DoorDash or Grubhub or other fast food delivery services. You can't do this with Shipt or Instacart because this requires you to be on a bicycle. That's right, not a motorbike, not a car, a bicycle. You need to be on those pedals, getting exercise in the heat, in the cold, in the rain, in the snow. You think this is crazy, but you can ask any one of my coworkers, when I first started working at my factory, I biked to my factory every single day that I worked there in rain, snow, heat, or cold. It didn't matter, I was on my bike, no excuses. And the same thing can be applied for DoorDash and Grubhub. That is the only exception where you will make good money doing a gig job. Every other gig service kills your car. It's less secure because you have to rely on your car. And it also drains your money. You may make money initially, but over the long term with the miles that you put in your car and the maintenance costs on your car, unless you have a beater throwaway car that you genuinely are going to run into the ground until the, until the head gasket breaks, you can't afford to actually have a gig job. You're just wasting time. You are genuinely wasting time with gig jobs that require your car because all of your profits are going to go back into your car anyways. You're just wasting your time. Does that make sense? Plus, with a standard W-2 job in another brick-and-mortar location, it's more secure, you have better hours, you don't have to dictate, you don't have to hope that customers are going to come in and give you an order. It's just more secure to have a standard 9-to-5 job and then a 6-to-10 job. It's just the safer, more secure route to have a second part-time job. Um, a couple of other things is that not everyone is cut out for the entrepreneurship journey. And if you know that's you, that's perfectly fine. Not everybody is cut out to be an entrepreneur. If you've tried to do your own business and it didn't work out for you, that's okay. Nobody's gonna be upset or mad that you couldn't make it. You shouldn't even be upset if, at yourself if you couldn't make it. Entrepreneurship and business ownership isn't for everybody and that's fine. You can just work two jobs that work around your schedule and you can find a perfect balance, I promise you, while still going to the gym, while still being healthy. It's not that hard. You just have to make the right choices and stop being lazy. No matter whether you choose to work a second job or a gig job or you choose the entrepreneur route, no matter what route you choose, it all ends in the same way. People that work hard now play hard in the future. It's always going to be that way no matter where you are on this earth. Because the money that you earn from this second job, this second secure job, can be invested back into yourself, into better food, better health, better fitness. It can be invested into a career, for so that way you can be in a blue collar position. Like, okay, here's a perfect example, right? 
I really am interested in being an HVAC technician. My current fact job is a factory, okay? So if I wanted to, I could go back to working a second job myself, because right now I'm down to just the one factory job because I have enough to pay for my bills and everything. But if I really wanted to, I could go work a second job, save up money for three months, just three months. And then I would have enough money to be able to quit that second job and then go to a career tech center or something. I don't really know where I would go, but I'd be able to go and get a certificate for HVAC training. And then I could become a blue collar worker in an HVAC field as my main job. You see how that works? In just three months of working your heart out, you'd be able to find a better career and find more money. It just makes sense to get a second job regardless of whether you're trying to pinch money or you're trying to improve yourself. Just stop, just go and do it. I, open your life up, improve your life, improve yourself, improve your mind, improve your body, improve everything just by doing this one simple trick. Remember to always take great care of your mind, great care of your body, great care of your soul. And I look forward to seeing you return here with another video of mine. Stay smooth, stay safe, and stay fit. See you around.